Hi there, my name is Moalla. We want to learn more about Figma in this session. So far I made something like this and I want to make it like this one. So I need a text and two buttons. To add text, I can select this one or as you see, T is shortcut of that one. So I press T and I can type welcome. Welcome. There are some properties for this layer because this one is selected. So you see the properties of this layer. So I want to make it bigger. First, I need to select that. I double click on that one. So once the whole text is selected, I can increase the size like this. If I want a kind of bold uh, style, I can choose this one or maybe medium and the color here. Let's make it white. If I put it here uh, in the center, maybe because of the white background, I cannot have enough contrast. So I can bring it here to be sure that I have enough contrast. I can add shadow to this layer. The effect is here. You can add shadow by pressing this plus button here. There is a list of, you know, other effects, inner shadow, drop shadow, blur, and the properties are here, settings, more settings of shadow. So let's see that better. I press shift two. Okay, now this is better. If you want to add more black color, you can increase this one. And if you need more blurred color, you can add to this four. Okay, very good. Let's zoom out. Now I want to be sure that that is exactly in the center. I have two options to do it. The first one is to drag it, as you see, you can see that this uh, red line, it shows me that now this is in the center. This is in the center vertically. If I bring it up, then that is in the center horizontally. The other option is to use this button here. If I press this one or Alt Edge on my keyboard, I press Alt Edge and that is vertically in the center. Or I can press this one. And this one makes that vertically centered. Okay, but I bring it a little down because here I can have more dark color in the background. Now I want to add one button here. Let's press Shift 2. Okay. To add one button here, first I need to add one rectangle by R shortcut. So I press R and then I can draw a rectangle. I need a color for that one. To choose one color, I suggest this one at this website, material palette forward slash colors. Among these colors, I choose this one because that is closer to these colors here. So this one, once you click on that, you see a list from 50 to 900, you know, light color to this color. And they are some accent colors. We need to choose from this ones. So I choose 500 in the middle. Once I click on that, it copies the color uh, to your clipboard and here once this rectangle is selected I mean the it shows this layer here and you see these four shapes around that you can change the settings here so I can paste the color here okay now that it has that green color now I want to make it let's press shift one round like this one shift two when I zoom in, I can see four dots around that. If I zoom out, I cannot see that. 
Well, if I zoom in, I can see them. If I drag them to the center of a rectangle, I can make it round like this one. Okay. Very good. Now I need to add a text. I press this one or I press T. And I can type sign in. That is very big. To make it small, I change the size to 20. And maybe regular. Okay, very good. To make it in the center of the button, I can drag it, then it helps me to find. Even if that is not in the center of the screen, and I want to put it in the center of the button, it helps me. Yes, here. That is vertically and horizontally, that's in the center. But if I add something to this, a word to this, for example, here or something, then sometimes you will have problem. So the other option is to make it wider to the size of the button, even vertically. If you do this, be sure that this one is in the center and this one vertically. Okay, now you're sure that that is exactly in the center. About the color of the text, if you go back to this palette, you see from 500 to 900, the text on that color is white. But if you choose from 50 to 400, the text on that one needs to be black. That is a material design rule. So here, because I have chosen 500, uh, I need to choose white color. Yes, like this. Now I want to make a group out of text layer and rectangle uh, layer. As you see, I have a layer for rectangle and I have a layer for text. To select them both, I can hold shift. This layer is selected before and I click on the rectangle. Now both of them are selected. Now I can press Ctrl G to make a group. And you can rename that by double clicking here and you can type like this. And now that is a group. Let's make it in the center by pressing this one. Okay, I want to duplicate that. I can uh, press Control D. Now that is duplicated, as you see here, duplicated. And the other one is here. Let's change the second one. Let's rename that. Okay. Now that is on the top of the other one. Okay, for this one, I need a kind of uh, white background and uh, dark text color. To select that one, that rectangle, because now this, if I click on that, the group is selected, but I need to select the layer of rectangle. One option is this one. Now that one is selected and you see the properties of that rectangle. The other option is to double click on this uh, group. If I uh, click once on that one, the group is selected. If I double click on that, that rectangle is selected. Now I can change the color like this and the text green. The other colors which I have chosen before are listed here. The other option is to click on this one and choose the other color. And we can change, of course, the text. Sign up. Very good. If you want to change the position of each of these buttons, you can do like this. First, you need to select them both, like, you know, holding shift, or even here I can hold shift and I can select the other one. Now, if I zoom a little in and I select them both, 
sorry I didn't choose the as you see there's a problem here I didn't choose the uh, group I need to select the group not uh, one layer then you see this short line here and two dots here but dragging this one you can change the distance between these two buttons and if you want to uh, replace this one with this one you can use these dots like this even if you drag that in the middle it goes to the uh, other place okay this way you can change the distance between them like this and you can change the order very good the other thing that we need to do is this uh, gradient color for this button let's do that shift 2 so that we can zoom in and um, I need to select rectangle layer to change that to gradient I need to click on this one and from here instead of solid color I can choose linear color if I click on this one you see one color here and same color while that is transparent so to make it like a normal to remove that transparency click on this and from here drag it to the right side now you see from this color to the same color but I want this one to be lighter normally I try to make this dot closer to this side so where you know this color is selected I try to make it closer to this side yes something like this and let me choose this one again and make it a little lighter or maybe like this yeah very nice color if you want to add another color between you can click here and then you can add another uh, you know color and if you want to delete that you can press delete button very good let's zoom out okay uh, now I have two buttons and one text that is ready that is exactly like this one and maybe in another session we need to make something like this and in another session we can make that inside before a in designer both of them this one and this one okay so please wait for my other tutorial and do not forget to subscribe in my channel and if you like my tutorial please hit on that like button